Today we are going to be going over every single axe in Lumber Tycoon 2 as of January 1st of 2024. This includes axes that you can buy from stores, get from different Christmas presents, and they go all the way back to 2015. And for each axe, I'll tell you how you can get them and how good they actually are. And while there might only be 25 axes in the game that you can buy from other players or from stores, I will be including a 26th axe that you might not know about called the Gold Axe which was removed a few years ago. That will be included at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about this feel free to leave them in the comment section but this video includes every axe as of recording this video. So if any axes get added after the video, well they're not going to be in it obviously but hey you can stay tuned for the 20. 25 version of this video coming out in a year from now. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first axe we are going to talk about in this video is one you might be familiar with. This is the basic hatchet which you can currently purchase from Wood or Us for $12. This might be the first axe you ever buy in the game, however you probably know already that it is quite terrible. We can go ahead and do a test chop with it on an oak tree just in case you don't remember how terrible it is because guess what, it's not that great. So next up is the plain axe which you can also buy from Wood or Us for $90. Again it's not that great of an axe, it's a good starter axe, but we can go ahead and do two chops on the oak tree just to remind you of how terrible it actually is. Next up is the Steel Axe which you can also buy from Wood or Us for $190. This axe is a slight upgrade to the Plain Axe but it's still not that great of an axe. We can do two test chops on the oak tree just to show you of how meh the actual axe is. Here we have the Hardened Axe which you can buy for $550 at Wood or Us. It's still a slight upgrade from all the previous axes we have purchased and you can see the additional damage it does compared to those. And the final axe you can currently purchase in the game is the Silver Axe sold at Wood or Us for $2,040. It's a pretty decent axe so if you can afford it I would recommend purchasing it especially if you are a new player. Here you can actually see how much damage it does to this oak tree. Pretty good, pretty decent for a cheap axe and it was added to the game to actually replace the beta axe which was removed a while ago. And speaking of beta, we also have the beta axe and the alpha axe here, but we will be talking about those in just a moment. Wow! Moving forward, every single axe I'm about to show you is no longer sold in any stores. However, I will be showing you what presents they come in, what boxes they come in, or how you can actually get these axes doing special quests in the game. Now the best axe you can get without having to trade with any player in Lumber Tycoon 2 is the Rookery Axe. It requires three special items sold in three different stores and you have to take all those items to a special location called the Den in the Snow Biome where you can actually turn those items into the brand new Rookery Axe. I'll have a tutorial linked in the description below if you want to figure out how to get this axe for yourself because it is the best axe you can get without having to trade with another player. It's better than the silver axe and every other axe at Wood R Us. It's also available in the den almost every day of the year, however there is one day where there's an exception and you can actually get the end times axe instead. So speaking of the end times axe, here we have it. The only way you can get it besides trading with another player is by taking those same three items to the den on October 31st aka Halloween. And instead of getting the Rookery Axe you will actually get the end times axe and what is special about this axe is that it is the only tool that can actually chop the phantom tree located beneath the bridge. And in terms of chopping other trees, it also does pretty decent damage, almost the same as the Rookery Axe when you're chopping other trees such as Oak, Cherry, and Elm for example. So in general, it is a great axe to use on a regular basis. Here we have one of my most favorite axes, the Alpha Axe of Testing. This was one of the earliest axes added to the game and it can only be obtained by trading with other players. We can go ahead and test how much damage it does on my oak tree over here and as you can see it sort of does some pretty decent damage. It's definitely not the best axe in the game but it is pretty decent and it has a pretty nice design. 
And what replaced the alpha axe was the beta axe once the game actually moved into the beta testing phase. This axe is no longer available in stores, of course, it got replaced by the silver axe, but it still is a pretty fun axe to collect and it does some decent damage to trees as well. Now here we have one of the most sought after axes, the Fire Axe, and this axe is very well known for its superior damage to Lava Wood because Lava Wood is one of the best trees in the game to farm, especially if you're looking to make a lot of money. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the axe. It was added during the 2015 Christmas event in the Fiery Gift of Lumber. So you either have to buy the axe, buy the axe in its box, or buy the present if you actually want to get this axe. In terms of doing damage to other trees, it really doesn't do that much, but it is a fantastic axe for using in the volcano. Here we have the most useless axe in Lumber Tycoon 2, the Candy Cane Axe. It was added in the 2016 Christmas event in the Sweet Gift. So you need to either buy this gift or just buy the axe or the axe box if you want to get this axe. Even though it is quite useless, it might still be fun to hang on a shelf or something, but you can't use this axe to chop any trees. Even if you try to chop them, it will do zero damage to them. Any tree you try, it doesn't work. So moving on to a more useful and fun axe, here we have the chicken axe which was added back in the 2017 Christmas event in the Gift of Great Times. This axe doesn't really have any special powers, but it is quite a fun axe to have because one, it has a chicken on it, and two, when you chop trees, well, chicken sounds get made because there's like a chicken living in the axe head or something. I don't know, but it's a little spooky, especially when you're chopping trees for the first time. I remember that chicken spooked me so much because I heard chickens and I thought there was a chicken in my room, but there really wasn't. It was in my axe the whole time. So this axe is pretty fun. It's not that great of an axe, but hey, it's fun to have around. Now you might be thinking, do you need a microscope to see this axe? Because it happens to be the smallest axe in Lumber Tycoon 2. This is the gingerbread axe added in the 2018 Christmas event in the gingerbread gift. It is the smallest axe in the game, but it has a huge chopping range. It also does superior damage to walnut and koa trees, which happens to be my most favorite wood in the game. So this axe is probably one of my most favorite ones, and it is a fun axe to have around. Now make sure you don't cut yourself when handling this axe because it is quite rusty. This here is the rusty axe added in the 2019 Christmas event in the old gift of oxidation. This axe isn't anything that special, it doesn't have any special buffs unfortunately for any particular trees, so it is just an average axe, it does average damage, it has average uh, properties I guess you could say, so if you want it, maybe that makes you average, no I'm just kidding, it's a decent axe. If you have any plans to harvest any cave crawler wood, be sure to get this axe. This is the cave axe and it does huge damage to cave crawler wood. It was added in the 2020 Christmas in the spooky deep earth gift. Again, like I said, it has a special ability to do high damage to cave crawler wood, aka blue wood, and it still does some decent damage to other trees. Now if you like the swamp, maybe you will like the overgrown axe right here which was added in the murky gift of goo during the 2021 Christmas event. This axe has the special ability to do high damage to zombie wood and gold wood all the way up in the swamp. So next time you make a trip up there, be sure to bring this axe with you because it does higher damage to those trees and it does lower damage to other trees as you can see. Out of all the axes in the game, this one probably wins the award for the best design just because of the vines growing around it and whatnot, I really love the theme of it. Things are starting to get chilly here with the Frost Axe which was added in the chilly gift of deep cold during the 2022 Christmas event. This axe has a really cool axe head because it's transparent, it has icicles growing on it because it's made out of ice. And by the way, this axe is fantastic for harvesting one of the best woods in the game, ice wood or frost wood, whatever you want to call it. So make sure the next time you head up to the mountains to get this ice wood, frost wood, whatever you want to call it again, uh, be sure to bring this axe with you you. In terms of chopping other trees though, it's decent still. Now you might recognize this axe as the blue steel axe because it was just added in the 2023 Christmas to Wood R Us. It actually doesn't come in a present which is completely different from all the previous axes that have been added for the different Christmases that we've previously discussed. 
This axe does superior damage when you're chopping blue spruce, which is a limited time tree that grows around winter. It was just introduced back in 2023 uh, during the Christmas time. However, it is currently removed from the game, but we might be able to expect it to return next December. And if you want to use this axe for chopping other trees besides blue spruce, it's actually a pretty great choice because of the high damage and relatively low cooldown time. Now, don't get scammed if you're trying to buy the Spearman Axe from someone who's saying that this axe is the best axe in the game, because guess what? It really isn't. Don't tell anyone I told you that secret. But that axe was added in the green gift of good jolly goodness, a lot of G's in that name, during the 2023 Christmas events. And this axe is the worst functioning axe in the game. I know there's the candy cane axe, which does relatively, or actually absolutely no damage. But here you have the Spearman Axe, which is sort of like the brother or sister to this axe. And it's horrible. At least it does chop, but getting it to actually chop a tree is an absolute headache and even when it does chop it does no damage or barely any damage so don't use this axe unless you want to like hang it on a shelf just hang it on a shelf don't use it please don't use it please 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 do not use it but if you want to use it good luck So there you have it, that is every single axe added during a Christmas update to Lumber Tycoon 2, but now we're moving on to the Beesmas events which ran for a short limited time uh, for 2017 and 2018 and during that time we saw two new axes get added. Did you know that the fear of bees is called apophobia? And if you don't like bees, you might not like the bees axe, which was added during the 2017 Beesmas event. It doesn't come in a box or a gift or anything. It just literally fell from the sky during the event. So if you want to buy it from another player, just buy the axe outright. Bees. Now, one unique quirk about this axe is that sometimes it can scare the bejeebus out of you, especially if it's the first time you've ever used this axe and you chop a tree and it screams bees at you. Well, you're in for a scare. <laughs> so beware if you buy this axe or if you want to scare a friend, just give them this axe to chop some trees down with and they'll be wondering who the heck is screaming bees, bees at them. Guess what? It's the axe talking at them. There's also bees that come out from the axe every time you chop it, which is pretty cool. And overall, it's actually a pretty good axe. So you might be thinking that an axe with this many axe heads must be powerful. And guess what? It is the most powerful axe in the game and it is my most favorite one. This is the many axe which was added during the 2018 Beesmas event and it was sold as an item uh, underneath fancy furnishings in a maze. It was a fun event. It's no longer there, of course. You can't buy it in the game anymore except from other players. This does the most damage out of all the axes we've talked about to any tree that you try to chop. This doesn't take account into buffs though from specific axes being used on their specific trees that they do superior damage to. The one consequence of all this power though is that it does have a really long cooldown time, but it's not as bad as that Spearman Axe which we talked about, which we should never talk about or use ever again. You might be thinking that this axe looks cool and that's because it's a cool axe. Here we have the Amber Axe which was added during the 2018 Halloween event to Bob Shack. It's just an average axe, it doesn't really do any specific damage to any special trees. However, it has a really high damage only second to the many axe according to the wiki. So if you want to use this axe, you can use it to do some pretty high damage, but it does have a large cooldown time. If you happen to like candy corn, don't get carried away and accidentally eat your axe because if you own the candy corn axe, well, it's made out of candy corn. So this axe was added during the 2020 Halloween event and it doesn't really have anything special about it other than the fact that the axe head is made out of a large candy corn. It just does average damage making it an average axe, but hey, at least it's better than the spearmint axe, am I right? Two things that Elon Musk can never change is X still being called Twitter and the Bird Axe which was added to Lumber Tycoon 2 in 2019 to a cave behind Link's logic. If you want to actually get this axe right now you have to glitch through a wall or a boulder because the entrance is intentionally blocked and you can't even use the strongest stick of dynamite to blow it up. However, if you have a silver axe and you go into the bird cave and place the silver axe onto the podium, the bird there will convert it into a bird axe. And this still does work even though the cave is blocked. However, in the past, if you were following Defaultio on Twitter, you were able to get this axe without having the entrance blocked. In terms of damage, it's pretty decent, pretty average, not the best, not the worst. 
Now, I might not like Pi in real life, but I will make an exception for the Pi Axe, which was added during the 2023 Thanksgiving to Wood R Us. This axe is uh, does superior damage to cherry wood. It does average damage to other wood. But the one thing you should focus on is the cool design. It's made out of pie and it even has pie written on the axe handle. So don't mistakenly eat this axe. And one thing you'll notice when you are chopping trees is that one, it's fast. Two, it makes a squishy sound like a pie being stepped on. And three, there's pie flakes floating in the air. Why? Who knows? And there we go, we have reviewed all 25 axes added to the game as of January 1st of 2024. Of course, you might be thinking, what about the 26th axe that I was telling you about, the gold axe? Well, unfortunately, that axe was removed from the game a few years ago after exploiters got access to it or something like that. I don't know the exact story, but when that axe was in the game, it was only accessible by the developer and I think a few people he trusted it with, maybe other people that tested the the game with him or something but that axe was the most powerful axe to ever exist in the existence of lumber tycoon 2 and you might be thinking where's the axe how do i see it well here's a video i made of it a long time ago so excuse the lack of pixels it was a very low resolution recorded on roblox but here enjoy see your golden axe that doesn't exist anymore And now that you've seen the golden axe, that does bring us to the end of the video. Here we have gone over all 25 axes available in the game, plus the golden axe, bringing it to a total of 26 axes shown in this video. Now, if you do have any questions about them, how to get them, if they're any good or anything, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. And because this video was made on January 1st of 2024, any axes that are added after this video is upload, of course, will not be featured in the video so please don't comment bunny you're missing an axe because guess what i can't magically edit this video unfortunately i wish i could but what i can promise is that i'll have a new version of this video out in exactly 365 days now if you want to do anything to support the channel pressing the like button would be appreciated or you can even subscribe that'd be crazy so thank you but other than that i hope you do have a good day thanks for watching have a good life and goodbye